Leadership Talk, Annual General Meetings, Your Role. My name is Deborah Kalita. I am a Rural Leadership Specialist with Manitoba Agriculture in Dauphin. What is Leadership Talk? Manitoba Agriculture Industry Leadership Staff provide free webinars on building the organizational capacity within the agriculture sector, which results in high-performing organizations. This content is designed for informational purposes only. This information is not intended to be a substitute for professional advice. Organizations should consult their professional advisors related to specific situations. We've all taken part in annual general meetings, either as a member, as a director, or executive officer. I've attended many annual general meetings. I've served as a board member and on the executive, including serving as secretary. As a member, I have also been asked to serve as a minute checker, a parliamentarian, and to count votes at an annual general meeting. Some annual general meetings are short and to the point, but others are long, unorganized, or contentious. How do we make sure that members are willing to participate in an annual general meeting? Experience has shown that planning and preparation in advance can make your annual general meetings go smoothly and quickly. I will refer to annual general meetings as AGM as we move forward in the presentation. This is the second of two in our series on annual general meetings. Today we will be covering these topics. What is an annual general meeting? Roles and responsibilities of members, board, and executive. Conducting the meeting. Helpful tips. Please refer to Annual General Meetings Part 1 for information on why the AGM is important, best practices, and preparing for the AGM. Collins English Dictionary defines Annual General Meeting as the statutory meeting of the directors and shareholders of a company or of the members of a society held once every financial year at which the annual report is presented. The Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary and Thesaurus further defines the annual general meeting as a meeting that happens once every year in which a company or other organization discusses the past year's activities and elects new officers. An annual general meeting, also called an AGM or annual meeting, is a meeting of official bodies and associations involving the general public, including companies with shareholders is often required by law, constitution, charter, or bylaws governing the body, and is to be held every year for members in good standing or shareholders. An annual general meeting gives the members the opportunity to elect the board of directors, receive information about the past year's activities, progress, achievements, and milestones, find out about the organization's financial health, make changes to the constitution and bylaws, receive information on future directions, and to ask questions. Conducting the meeting. All the members of the organization and the board, as well as the officers, have a role in the annual general meeting. Your role as a member. Attend. Plan on attending the AGM, or if possible, send a proxy if this is allowed. Read the reports. Be knowledgeable about the activities of the organization and be prepared to vote on resolutions or take part in discussion. Participate. Be involved in the meeting and discussion. Follow the meeting's rules of order. Serve as minute checkers, parliamentarians, scrutineers, or timekeepers as requested. Minute checkers take notes during the meeting and are asked to review the minutes for correctness before they are circulated after the meeting. Parliamentarians are knowledgeable in meeting procedures and may be asked for rulings or assistance should questions come up on process during the meeting. Scrutineers will be asked to count and verify votes, whether by hand or by ballot. They may also be charged with destroying written ballots. Timekeepers will be asked to keep track of the time allotted for the various agenda items and signal the chairperson when time is running out. They play an important role in keeping the meeting on time. Role of the Chair Leadership and direction before, during, and after the meeting. Be prepared. 
Come to the meeting prepared for discussion on agenda items and possible questions. Welcome participants and guests on arrival. Prepare the agenda with the assistance of the Executive or Board of Directors. A detailed agenda with notes to follow can be helpful. Manage time. Start the meeting on time and keep it moving. Manage discussion and maintain order. And follow up. Are there items of discussion that need to be brought forward to the next board meeting? The main items on the agenda are the annual report. This is often circulated in written form and then a summary is presented at the meeting. Any special resolutions. These may involve changes to the constitution or bylaw. The audited or reviewed financial statement. This will usually include a comparison to at least one previous year and to the budget. This portion of the meeting may also include a proposed budget for the coming year. The auditor may be present to give their report and answer any questions about their report. Election of the Board of Directors and possibly officers or executive. This is usually the final item of business. The agenda should be circulated in advance and available at the meeting in written form. This template is available from our website. The link is www.gov.mb.ca slash agriculture slash industry dash leadership slash resources slash. The website will also be given at the end of the presentation. It is helpful for both the chairperson and participants to include an estimated time for each agenda item. Preparing a script to follow based on your agenda can be of assistance to the chairperson. Here is the first page of an example from SAS Culture. This sample is based on areas addressed in SAS Culture's annual general meeting, but provides suggestions to adapt for your own agenda and organization. The link to their website is also included in our resource section. Why use a template? It helps you stay on track. It gives you a script to follow to ensure the appropriate format or message is used. And we all get nervous and it's easy to miss a crucial step. The four fundamentals of meeting rules of order are they facilitate action, not obstruct it. They enable the membership to express its will. They give every member a fair hearing and they maintain order. This is true whether the meeting is following parliamentary procedure, Robert's Rules of Order, or another meeting management technique. In addition, it is important that we all remember these principles at any meeting. Justice and courtesy for all, do only one thing at a time, the majority rules, and the minority has a right to be heard. The Secretary has a major role in the annual general meeting before, during, and after the meeting. Before the meeting, the secretary may be responsible for booking the meeting location and any refreshments, will prepare and circulate the meeting notice, collect the items for the meeting package and arrange for printing, recruit minute checkers if the organization utilizes this, and prepare necessary supplies for the day of the meeting. Here are some of the things that I have found useful as a secretary at an AGM. A check-in list or member register in alphabetical order. Name tags and markers. A copy of the organization's constitution, bylaws, and policies and procedures. A copy of a meeting rules of order. Membership application forms, membership cards, receipts, and cash box, unless this is done by the financial officer. A quorum calculator sheet a contact list for new board to complete, which will include the name, address, and occupation, ballots, voting cards if the organization uses proxies, and a minutes template, pens, and pencils. On the day of the meeting, the secretary should arrive early, take attendance, prepare quorum information, and take minutes. Here is an example of determining quorum for an organization's AGM. The actual numbers used in your calculation will depend on the requirements of your constitution. For example, an AGM quorum according to bylaws is 20% of voting members. The total number of members is 87. The number of voting members is 50. The quorum would be 50 times 0.2 equals 10. 
The number of voting members in attendance is 18, so quorum has been reached. The role of the secretary continues after the AGM to include circulating the minutes to minute checkers for verification, edit and finalize the minutes, submit any necessary reports as required by constitution or by legislation. The role of the treasurer or financial chair. Provide all financial documents to the auditor or reviewer at least 30 days in advance of the AGM. Work with the auditor or reviewer during the process. Be prepared to answer questions and provide any additional information or documentation. Provide completed financial statement and audit report to the secretary to be included in the annual report. It may be necessary if there are time constraints to print the financial reports separately. Report the highlights at the AGM. Answer questions about the financial statements. Year-end financial statements are the key to understanding the financial position of the organization. The financial statements of the organization will usually include an income statement, a balance sheet, a statement of change in financial position, statement of the auditor or reviewer, and comparison to the budget or to previous years. The report may include a statement by the auditor or reviewer that describes their findings and any recommendations or concerns. The statement may also describe any major changes to note from the previous year. Ideally, the year-end financial statement will show a comparison to one or more previous years, as well as to the year's budget. In summary, the financial statements will give the membership a summarized picture of how much has been spent, where it has been spent, what income was generated, and how these compare to the budget and to past years. Members of the board have this role in the AGM. They should submit written reports as required, attend, participate, support the decisions of the board, and answer questions. Please watch the webinar Annual General Meetings Be Prepared for details on preparing and submitting written reports for the AGM package. The Nominations Committee will seek candidates to fill positions on the Board of Directors and or the Executive, keeping in mind the skills that are needed on the Board. They follow the guidelines as set out in the Constitution and bylaws, as well as the policies and procedures. They provide a report to the Secretary to include in the meeting package. They may report to the Board prior to the AGM, and they report to the membership. They may also conduct the elections during the meeting and they may make a motion to accept the nominations and elections. During the elections, the committee will present the candidates, call for nominations from the floor three times. This is spaced throughout the meeting, as you may have noticed on the sample agenda. This is a traditional method of handling nominations. However, this varies in organizations. Some will do three calls at once. Others have moved to only doing one call for nominations. An example would be the Manitoba Association of Parliamentarians. The committee will call for a motion that nominations cease. They will conduct the voting, usually by secret ballot, announce the results, and if the election is by acclamation, call for a motion to accept the nominations and the election of the candidates. What could organizations do differently at their AGMs? What things could you do to entice people to come to your AGM? What would be a compelling draw? A meal or refreshments? A guest speaker? Volunteer recognition? What would make an AGM a positive, enjoyable, and invigorating experience and ensure people go away firmly committed to the organization? Keeping your annual general meeting short and on time or topic will have those in attendance leave feeling positive. Why do AGMs matter? They're a valuable opportunity for your organization to engage members in your cause and activities and develop your brand. They offer the opportunity to be transparent about the operations of the organization, communicate with the members, as well as raise awareness about the organization, its goals and activities. In review, an annual general meeting is a meeting of official bodies and associations involving the general public, including companies with shareholders. It's held annually. They're often required by the law, constitution, charter, or bylaws governing the body, and they are for members in good standing. 
An annual general meeting gives the members the opportunity to elect the board of directors, receive information about the past year's activities, progress, achievements, and milestones, find out about the organization's financial health, make changes to the incorporation objects and bylaws, receive information on future directions, and to ask questions. Here are some resources that provide further information on annual general meetings from the Alberta Agriculture and Forestry, preparing for your annual general meeting. From Saskatchewan Culture, how to run an annual general meeting and a sample script for the AGM chairperson. Although both of these resources are not from Manitoba or Canada, they do offer some excellent suggestions for planning your annual general meeting. Visit our industry leadership website to see these resources, a meeting guidebook, and agenda template that can be found in the template section. Thanks to the Government of Alberta Culture and Tourism Community Development Unit for their use of material from their presentation preparing for your annual general meeting. Make time to visit our Manitoba Agriculture Industry Leadership webpage at www.gov.mb.ca slash agriculture. The website contains a wealth of information related to starting an organization, developing a strategic plan, being a board member, board operations, and dissolving an organization. The resources section also contains a number of tools and links that you will find helpful. Please join the conversation with Manitoba Agriculture. Subscribe to our newsletter, follow us on Twitter, visit our website, call our general inquiries line, view our videos on YouTube, or send questions to leadership at gov.mb.ca.